Okay, in this video we are going to take a look at the duplicate tool and um, see that it can really benefit us uh, in some pretty interesting ways because it's a little bit smarter than you may have initially realized. So let's just start with a general object. I'll just bring a sphere in here. I'm not going to try and design anything specific in this particular video. I just want to give you an overview of what this tool can actually do. So if you were designing something, we had something like a sphere in our workspace, we may want to duplicate that. Or, and there's a couple different ways we can do that. One of the easiest ways of doing that is to use the duplicate function. All right. Uh, some people though are a little bit more used to copying and pasting. So you may, uh, let's say, just copy this. A couple different ways to copy. You can use Control C, or you can use the uh, tool on the toolbar on the upper left hand side. Uh, I'm a keyboard kind of a guy, so I will use Control C, and then uh, somewhere else. Uh, you can paste that object. And the nice thing about this is uh, you can kind of hold on to this for later. You can paste it in multiple places and it's going to be available to you provided you haven't uh, copied something else to the clipboard. And then I can just use Control V, um, V as in Victor, and, or I can use the tool on the toolbar at the upper left hand side. So I can just paste that and it's going to be pasted in a spot uh, similar to where the other one was. Okay, and I can keep doing that, right? I can move these around and I can paste as many as I want. That's a fairly simple way of duplicating things. Um, but Tinkercad also has another ability to duplicate things. So let's actually get rid of this. All right. And the other way of uh, duplicating is to use the duplicate feature. And so you can see that here on the uh, toolbar at the top, it says duplicate and repeat. Interesting, duplicate and repeat. And that's actually the smart thing that we're going to address. What is that and repeat thing? Well, duplicate is just duplicate that, that object and paste it in. It's kind of like a copy and paste all in one. All right, so we could use this tool in the toolbar or we can use Control D as we can see there. And of course, if you're on a Mac, you're gonna use the Command key instead of the Control key. All right, so if I hit Control D here, uh, it doesn't look like anything happened. I saw a little flicker. I'm not sure if that came through in the video, but it looks like maybe something happened. If I move this, I can actually see, oh, there was another one underneath, right? So that's one way of duplicating things. So if I do that, then it's just going to duplicate that thing, and then I can uh, move it immediately. But that's not all we can do. We can actually get this to not only duplicate but repeat an action. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. I'm going to delete those two. I'll take the sphere again, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. So I'll hit Control D. But while it's still selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. So I'm going to use the uh, arrows on my uh, keyboard and I'm just going to shift that over a little bit. I could also hold down shift to make that um, movement a little bit more drastic. Um, but that's what I'm going to do there. All right. So I just moved it over a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is while this is still selected, I'm going to duplicate this one. Now watch what happens. If I click control D, you'll see that not only was that shape duplicated, but the action of moving it was also repeated, all right? So by taking that shape, duplicating it, and moving the duplicate, if I duplicate that duplicate, what Tinkercad's gonna do is it's gonna remember that movement and it's gonna do that same thing when I duplicate. So I could keep duplicating this and I'm gonna get the same effect. So if I click duplicate again, duplicate again, I get that same effect. All right. The one thing to keep in mind, though, is that that repeat feature is only good while you still have the item selected. So, for example, I've duplicated and repeated that movement here with these spheres, um, but my duplicate has always been selected. If I unselect that, all right, you can see the, the bars are no longer around the shape, and then I come back to it, 
and I use control D to duplicate that repeat feature is gone so I actually have a duplicate of the sphere it's just now right in the same position as it was before so I kind of lost that ability to duplicate and repeat all right you can still duplicate but you can't necessarily repeat now what I could do is I could duplicate this again and then maybe perform some other action so let's maybe move it up this side and then if I duplicate that now you can see that that action is going to repeat itself all right so that's a pretty cool feature if you've got a number of things that you want to be able to repeat um, uh, or duplicate and repeat uh, this can be a really really useful tool now the sphere is not going to help us see what else you can do so I'm going to pick something else out here let's grab a box we're going to look at this just one more time but in this particular case I want to show you something slightly different not only can the duplicate and repeat um, work out a movement but it can also uh, repeat a rotation so let's take a look at this little bar here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it alright and now I'm going to rotate it it's still selected I'm gonna rotate it let's do 20 let's do 45 degrees okay now while it's still selected after that rotation let's duplicate that so if we duplicate that you'll see not only was the item itself duplicated but that rotation that I put on that item is also repeated and so now I can click duplicate again and look at this nice little symmetrical shape that I've created just by taking the one item duplicating it and then rotating it I can repeat that rotation all the way around uh, if I can undo that I could even do that over a smaller angle okay so let's do 22 and a half degrees and now if I um, <clears throat> duplicate that actually didn't work because I didn't do that right so let's actually delete that and that's just something you have to keep in mind uh, if you didn't duplicate something appropriately uh, then that repeat function may not be available to you so let's actually go back to my original I'm gonna duplicate that and now let's rotate that uh, 22 and a half degrees good and now I'll duplicate that and there I get something a little bit more interesting alright so not only can you uh, duplicate something then move it and repeat that movement but you can duplicate something rotate it and repeat that rotation now some of you might be thinking ah well if you can duplicate and repeat a movement and you can duplicate and repeat a rotation can you duplicate and repeat a movement and rotation well let's explore that let's take a look at what we can do here I'm gonna undo all of that let's come back to this let's say I duplicate that and while it's still selected I'm gonna move it alright and now I'm also going to rotate it let's do that 22 and uh, can I get that 22 and a half now oh, yeah we can get that negative 22.5 degrees I'm gonna rotate it like this okay now let's duplicate that and see what we get ah look at that so not only was the movement repeated but the rotation also was repeated so this kinda has the effect of things being rotated around a different point um, as opposed to the center of this bar it's being rotated around a slightly different point so here we go I'm gonna keep duplicating that and then eventually I would get back to the beginning all right so that's pretty interesting so you can actually play around with that uh, I'm not going to again uh, create anything specific but I wanted to show you that because uh, whatever you're designing you may have the uh, need to repeat something uh, or duplicate something uh, but you don't necessarily want to duplicate it in the same place you may want to be putting it in different places so this is a great tool to use in order to gain that effect